Over the next five minutes, I'm supposed to talk about the Smarter Job Site and feature of the most important aspects of the job site, the people, the builders. With the recent explosion of emerging technologies like additive manufacturing, automation, robotics, UAVs, reality capture, 3D printing, mixed reality sensors, etc., the technologies that really catch our interest are those that focus on the human process or how humans engage in technology to perform the process. How can we better benefit from technology to improve situation awareness, safety, capture job site telemetry data to move from lagging to leading indicators or predicting performance that result in work executed safely, zero recordables right the first time, zero defects. We see central technologies, AR, wearables, as a perfect extension of much of the technology we already employ. The intersection of these technologies, or connecting the technology dots, converge on a single point of contact, the worker. The reality of robots replacing humans is still a fantasy and highly doubtful. However, by leveraging technology, we can truly focus on improving the behavior and outcomes of our future knowledge worker. Over the past 10 years, we began to transition from paper to digital information, both 2D and now 3D with BIM. We haven't really changed how we interface with project information or knowledge, and still fall short of contextual knowledge. Contextual learning or knowledge is the learning as it takes place in the place of work, or by just-in-time delivery, or we learn by doing. It's all driven around people's experiences. As we prepare for the future job site, we have to rethink, not just continually improve on how we access and use information, transform it into knowledge to help us perform safer with zero defects. So let's look at the current day mobility. I'm a big fan, but we still have some challenges. It's still not easy to find what you need when you need it in the place of work, thanks to the there's an app for that mentality. Mobile devices reduces awareness of your surroundings. We're looking down at these devices, and it's already a safety challenge. The form factor limitations of mobile devices. Small screen size, large amounts of information to process. With the right technologies, AR, wearables, sensor technologies, we can change that. So we, we always have to start the business problem before we head down the technology path. Understanding the impacts to our people first and how they perform the process. So according to the 2015 FMI labor study, which is not a surprise to anyone in this room, there is a growing labor shortage. There was a growing shortage of succession planning for the folks in the field, the project managers, superintendents, foremen. There is a need for just-in-time knowledge. The traditional methods of development won't cut it for the dwindling talent pool. We have to change. If we can't meet the labor need, well, there's some interest in technology to help us. Prefab and modularization are heavily reliant on technology for, for success. I don't mean to be a downer here. So I'm gonna switch gears and I'm excited to talk about the knowledge worker of the future. Dun, dun, dun. I have this great quote from uh, one of our company's best builders who is now retired, Dick Dodowich. All of this technology is great, but does nothing for us until we can see what we build in place. Someday we'll be building with holograms. Well, this is just a glimpse of things to come over the next couple of slides, but the idea is we were hoping to bridge that gap that we just described. Um, and here we go. I know Kung Fu. Show me. So maybe one day we'll be able to plug in the computer and download knowledge to go execute right the first time. But not today. Someone recently told me there is no new ideas, just ideas recycled. Ten years ago, we had an initiative called Last 100 Feet, which basically meant getting BIM and VDC into the field. An experiment to rethink or reimagine 
how we could leverage technology to change how we work. We chose revolution in layout. Great idea, poor timing. As you can see, we're in a dark room at HQ with a construction models and high-tech gadgets at the time. We were constrained by registration markers on the ceiling, immature tracking technologies, low-tech computers compared to today. Why do we need a high-powered robotic tool station in the future, or even tape measures to execute right the first time? We wanted to find a better way. While the experiment was a success, the timing was not. It was way too expensive to bridge the last hundred feet, so it sat. And now, kind of skipping over this into the near state future, here is a, a glimpse of what can come. In terms of overlaying the layout of the information during our planning phase onto the context of the real environment, being able to access information and knowledge, our schedule, the timing of when things are getting installed, inspections, um, looking at productivity curves um, based on real time data input and feedback walking the job site and capturing live real-time daily logs. So this way as if we're walking around the job site, we're collecting this information to video feeds. Understanding our crew breakdown, ver verifying who's on the job, what are they working on, are they working on the right thing based on the plan of the day. When we think about productivity, the most important aspect of productivity is tracking time. Being able to automate some of those pieces are really steps to moving to predicting that models. From a safety standpoint, understanding central technologies around job sites, equipment, people, uh, devices, being able to provide real-time feedback. Hey, that machine is still on, go fix it, or go turn it off. Integrated work planning, looking at connecting quality, safety, and efficiencies in our, in our definable features of work planning, and, and being able to see that in the place of work. Those are all little snippets of things to come in this near future state. And with that, thank you for your time. Hopefully this was value add.